Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Hawaii weather watch. Today is November 27th. And right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery. I've also got the air mass characteristics overlaid. You can see the greens mark where the subtropical and the tropical air is. If you go to the higher latitudes, you see the purples and the reds where the colder air exists. And if you see this area here, that cold air is gonna move right down to the west of the Hawaiian Islands here, forming this Kona low, bringing some deep southerly flow here, deep moisture, thunderstorm potential, flooding potential. And we'll dive into those details here as we go through the video this afternoon afternoon. Now I want to show you at 700 millibars, about 10,000 feet. There's the Hawaiian Islands. There's the state of Alaska, Japan to the far left and California right there. So if we watch this area of cold air there, you can see it get cut off from the westerly flow. And that's what forms these Kona storms here. This very cold air aloft will be spinning here for the next few days. And then it eventually gets caught back up in the westerlies and impacts the west coast, but not before it brings some flooding potential here across much of the state of Hawaii over the next few days. Now, taking a look at precipitable water. So this is the anomaly here, by the way. And you can see, the again, the Hawaiian Islands are down here where I'm circling. And then you can see the spin in the atmosphere that the Kona Low is. And you can see just how much deep tropical moisture it is bringing back up over the islands here. So interesting times upcoming here as we go through this week. And potentially even up towards this weekend, there is a thunderstorm potential as well. And I'll show you that here in a bit. But the flood watch has been issued for Kauai, Oahu. It has not been issued for Molokai, uh, Maui, or the Big Island just yet. But it may need to be extended out there, especially the big island. Uh, the European recently just had some pretty big precipitation amounts showing up, which I'll show you here in a minute. Now we're looking at that. Now here's the European 12Z run. If I put this into motion, now we're going on into about Tuesday and now we go into Tuesday evening here. And you can see that precip starting to pick up here across Kauai and big amounts just off to the east of the big island. Good thing that round misses because we've got more on the way. As you can see, this morning's European really puts some powerful thunderstorms here over the big island and it kind of targets Oahu, Kauai, and eventually maybe moving over Maui at times and just kind of continuing on in through the weekend. I mean, look at this all the way into Saturday morning. Still some impressive bands of precipitation across the state all the way into Sunday morning. And but before we finally dry out as we get on into the early portion of next week. And taking a look at a wider view, you can see California to the very top right here. And this is the European model here on the left versus the GFS, which is the USA model here on the right. Hawaiian Islands dead center. This is precipitable water. And you can see that rich moisture almost always to the south of the Hawaiian Islands. And then you see that spin in the atmosphere in the Kona low. And look at it just drag that tropical moisture back up over the area. So that's what's going to be bringing the uh, flooding threat and thunderstorm activity across much of the state. Now, taking a look at surface base cape, this is the North American model, high resolution model. And you can see you've got Kauai, Oahu, Maui, and the Big Island here. So we put this into motion. You can see a fairly unstable air mass incoming here, especially as we turn this flow to the south. And you can see some of the thunderstorms propagating through the cape. And cape is convective available potential energy. It's basically thunderstorm fuel. So you can kind of see how this convergence and this very unstable air mass really get going over some of the central islands by the time we get into Wednesday here. So yeah, interesting stuff incoming. We'll look at the lightning density potential here in a moment as well. Now looking at the NAM, the composite reflectivity. So this is for the next 60 hours. You can see some of these showers coming up over the area, but then that Kona low gets going as we go on in through the day Tuesday and look at it really start to target eventually Kauai and then Honolulu at some point on Wednesday afternoon. It looks like a very heavy round of thunderstorms could be moving across the area there and maybe even across some of the big island areas as well. And eventually Maui, Molokai, really no place in the Hawaiian Islands is safe because you don't know exactly where these bands are going to set up. It's very difficult to predict this with much lead time. Even as you're now casting, some of these showers can really intensify right before they make landfall. So now looking at 9 or 25 millibars, this is wind speed. You see the easterly component coming across the islands here. It's about 2,500 feet just off the surface. And you'll see that continue until we get into Tuesday. Then the southerly flow emerges as that Kona storm organizes off to the west and some powerful low-level convergence here kind of being shown moving across Kauai and Oahu as we go on in through Wednesday evening there. Now, taking a look at the European, this is the 12Z run, lightning flash density, six hours. So now we're going to scroll ahead on in through Tuesday, and you can kind of see 
these thunderstorms just kind of swamp the state, according to the European, as we go all the way in through Thursday. Now we're into Friday here, all the way in through the weekend, even Saturday morning, continuing on, maybe on, even on into Sunday morning. The GFS just is not as robust with these thunderstorms here, but yeah, this could be a problem if this ends up verifying what the European is showing with these thunderstorms hanging around a lot of the islands all the way through the weekend. Now looking at total precipitation in inches, and this is not a super high resolution model here on the European. So I'm just going to run through this and you can see it really brings some heavy amounts across Kauai eventually and Honolulu and some of the big island really gets targeted here as well. And Maui kind of waits until later on in the period here. But I'm telling you right now, some of the higher terrain here across Kauai and Oahu and Maui and the big island are going to get much more than it's what's being reflected right now. By the time we go on into Saturday evening here, you can see some pretty good precipitation amounts across many of the states. But anyway, yeah, pretty wet period here coming up as we go on in through the weekend. This is looking at Lihui. Each one of these little gray lines here is an ensemble run. The European runs 50 of these, and each one of these initial conditions are perturbed or changed a little bit to try to correct for any errors we may have in our forecast. And then each one of these individual runs uh, gets run out. So you can kind of see some of these have up over six inches here. The control run is the deterministic model, which is the conditions, the initial conditions best we understand them. So it's showing up over four inches here by the time you get to very early Friday morning. And by the, the mean also shows between what, maybe three, three and a half inches here by the time you get on to towards Saturday morning. This is Honolulu. You can see the big rainfall incoming here up until about this weekend here, maybe Saturday morning before that starts to taper off. And this is looking at the NAM3 cam. So this is Barking Sands. This is in the western portions of Kauai out there. And by the time you get on into, what is this, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night here, you can see just how much rain's supposed to pile up here. I didn't show any other stations with this model just yet. We'll look at that probably over the next day or two when the high resolution models get a little bit more in range. And you can see the flood watch issued here for Kauai, Oahu, and Nihau. And yeah, Tuesday morning through Thursday afternoon might be extended to Maui and eventually the big island as well. They talk about that moist and unstable air mass moving northward across the islands there. So yeah, and it'll be interesting to see just how long those thunderstorms hang on. Will they exist into the weekend like the European shows? That could cause some big problems. Hopefully things dry out a bit quicker like the GFS says. And if you're wondering where Barking Sands are, you can see it off to the west of Kauai there. And you see Oahu, Molokai, Maui, and then the island of Hawaii there. But anyway, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Um, I like using this air mass characteristics map here at times. It kind of shows you just where the most uh, subtropical moisture and the tropical moisture is. And you kind of see why we're going to have such a strong storm here. Big clash of air masses with that cold air dropping down to the west of the islands there, merging with that tropical air back up over the state. So yeah, hopefully the flooding won't be too bad. Maybe this will back off a little bit, but it looks like this is already in the works here, folks. And Probably just a matter of time before this storm organized. And it looks like a fairly strong Kona Low and a pretty well-placed one at that close to the Hawaiian Islands. So hopefully we don't get any uptrend in some of these precipitation amounts over the next day or two. But I'll probably do a video again tomorrow, especially if the models trend or at least continue to show this Kona Low being a powerful one, especially with that kind of proximity to the Hawaiian Islands. But anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. I'll put this on the California channel. Click like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.